Thank you, Caroline. And right now, as the evening commute continues, RIDOT is preparing for another traffic pattern change involving the Providence Viaduct project. Tomorrow, phase three will go into effect and just in time for the morning commute. Eyewitness News reporter Madeline Wright joins us with more details on what you need to know. Every time there's a lane change on 95 South in Providence, drivers complain it's confusing navigating between the old bridge and the new bridge. But the DOT says this time around there won't be any confusion because the old bridge is being phased out and all lanes of traffic will be on the new bridge. Tomorrow at 6 a.m., the third and final lane change of the Providence Viaduct project. Right now, there's one southbound lane left of the barrier and two lanes to the right of the barrier. But tomorrow, no more barrier. We're getting rid of all of the forks in the road. There will be no choices that they will have to make to either go left or right. All of the, all of the lanes of traffic will be on the new bridge and will be through to 95 South. The lane change was supposed to happen today, but because of rain, the DOT pushed it back a day. It's like they're always doing a project over here, so hopefully this is the last time um, and we don't see this again. While this is the last lane change on the southbound side, be prepared for lane changes on the northbound side. The second part of that will happen in the next year or year and a half where what we did on the southbound lanes will now happen on the northbound lanes. So we will be reconstructing the northbound lanes. When that happens, the DOT will shift all northbound traffic to the old southbound bridge. Eventually, northbound traffic will be shifted onto the new northbound bridge one lane at a time. When the new bridge is finished, the old southbound bridge will be demolished. I think the highway is going to look better. Hopefully it reduces traffic, like I said, and it makes it a lot easier on the commute. The DOT says the old bridges on the north and southbound sides are in bad shape, and it's going to cost more than $200 million to replace them both. Madeline Wright, Eyewitness News. Thank you, Madeline. And Eyewitness News traffic reporter Melissa Sardelli will have all your live traffic updates tomorrow on Eyewitness News this morning starting at 4.30 a.m.